Joining me is Jason Beck. He is the curator of the BC Sports Hall of Fame, and he's also an author of The Miracle Mile, and he's a runner. So he's here today to talk about what's new at the BC Sports Hall of Fame and to have people, if they didn't have a chance, to check out his book, The Miracle Mile, which is a good read, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, Jason. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Christine. It's a it's a pleasure to be back here in, in different circumstances than our normal interviews, but it's great to be here with you. Yeah, we're Zooming, right? Zooming. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how are you? Oh, doing pretty good. My, my wife and, and I, uh, uh, Nicole, we, we live in, uh, in South Langley and we've got a little bit of property out here. So we've been gardening and working in our greenhouse and, you know, keeping busy, just, you know, doing what we can while, while staying safe. And running too. Are you, you're, yeah. Yep. Running and biking, uh, doing a little bit of running. I haven't I've had the scale back my running a little bit in the last week because I've had a bit of a sore Achilles, but, uh, trying to get out at least, uh, you know, two to three times a week um, at, at the minimum, if we can. That's great. And for those of people who have not read your book, or if people need motivation right now, tell us about The Miracle Mile. Yeah, um, the, the Miracle Mile, the book was published uh, in 2016, so four years ago now, almost to the day. It came out in April. Um, and it, it's the story of, of most of the follows three key people, Roger Bannister, John Landy, and, and Jim Peters. Of course, Roger and John ran in the Miracle Mile, and, and Jim ran in the Marathon um, that finished just after the mile at the 1954 British Empire Commonwealth Games. So it's the stories of those three, and then I also went into the stories of a lot of other athletes and sports at those games. Um, originally, when I started out, I thought I'd just focus on Roger and John and Jim, but as I was going through and researching, I realized there is a whole other layer of stories here, uh, other athletes and, and sports that I would be, uh, it, it would be a crime if I didn't share those stories too. And I've always liked multiple sports, so it, it fit. So it was, it, it made for a, a lot of work though. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of material in that book. Yes. How long did it take you to complete it? It was about 10 years from beginning to end. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought, um, like. Yeah. <laughs> about two years of research which then I did a little bit after, but most two years strictly research and then about six years writing and then editing and more research and more editing. And <laughs> yeah, well, that's wonderful, Jason. And your book is at the BC Sports Hall of Fame. And it is. Um, it's, it's, it's for sale there when we're, when we're open. Yes. Um, but you can also find it online. It's on, on Amazon. It's on the Caitlin Press website. Um, I believe it's on the Hall of Fame website as well but it's, it's out there. That's wonderful. And so Jason, tell us now, I mean, you know, things are changed of course with the pandemic, but tell us about the BC sports hall, hall of fame right now. You are offering virtual tours, right? Yeah. So with our doors closed, we were trying to figure out a way how we could stay, you know, how we can keep people, you know, up to date on what we're doing and, and share some of these great stories that, that we have um, from athletes that are inducted in our hall and art, artifacts from our collection. We just felt with no live sports right now, um, these stories and, and the history of, of sport in our province is, is probably more relevant now than ever before. People are looking for, uh, are craving for sport and stories. And uh, so we thought, how can we share them? And, and uh, we've been doing a little bit on social media. Um, we've been uh, re recording these short clips of, of uh, tour stops that we would normally give uh, um, throughout the, the galleries and displays in the Hall of Fame. Um, we almost worked our way through those. I think we did a 10 or 12 of those clips to start. I think we've, we've almost come to the end of those but we've since recorded another 20 really short, quick hits on uh, artifacts from our collection. And these are artifacts that are actually in storage right now. So there's there are items you wouldn't normally see if you visited the Hall of Fame. Um, wow. And uh, so we've just brought, we've literally brought out an artifact at a time and told the story of it or some interesting fact about it or the significance of it. Um, and there's some, it, it's a pretty wide range of items, some rare, you know, unique kind of quirky oh. items, and then some really significant pieces too. 
can you tell us a little bit of the <laughs> specific artifacts that you found? And Yeah. Um, well, they range from, I remember I did one quick hit on um, a Kliwik, the, the mascot suit that was uh, uh, used at the 1994 Commonwealth Games. It's a large killer whale, or large orca suit. <laughs> um, so that was, that was an interesting one. That, sometimes artifacts come to us through, through, from athletes or from the individuals just do donating them. That suit actually showed up on our doorstep at the Hall of Fame in a unmarked black hockey bag. We don't know who, who gave it to us. We don't know where it came from, but one day we were opening and our staff found it there. So. Um, someone felt it should come to the BC Sports Hall of Fame. So, um, so that was one item. Um, another one that I talked about was um, was actually the the People's Shield. Um, it's a large, um, very elaborate silver um, uh, silver shield that was awarded to the the national champion soccer team um, uh, in Canada from 1906 to 1912 really really beautiful um but it has an interesting history as well um it, it was lost for a period and and then found and and refurbished and and then made its way to us mm -hmm. so tell us about some of the virtual tours like you've um you're airing it on well it's on facebook mm -hmm. uh, you know i've seen some of the clips and it's wonderful and we get our dose of sports by, by you know you're doing that which is a great idea so tell us a little bit of the virtual tours. Yeah, it was um, Shelby McCannell, who is one of our staff, um, and I uh, uh, decided to to kind of pair off on it. Um, the trickiest part was finding a way to do it in a in a safe, socially, physically distant way. But we we found a kind of a system where we could film one another um, without getting too close, and uh, we basically worked our way through the Hall of Fame. Uh, from one end to the other, we started in the Hall of Champions and just made you know one or two stops per gallery. Um, we you know everything from uh, talking about Percy Williams, who's you know one of Canada's great sprinters. Um, I remember Shelby did a stop at uh, the Henrik and Daniel Sedin's display. Um, I did another stop. We were talking about the Miracle Mile earlier. I did a stop in our Defining Moments gallery where. Uh, shared some stories about the Miracle Mile stopwatch that we have in our collection. Um, still stopped at Roger Bannister's winning time from the Miracle Mile, which is pretty amazing. Um, and then also a, a more recent ar artifact related to the mile that uh, we just received about a year ago was the, the, the bullet shell casing from the starter's gun that was used to start uh, the mile. Um, there was a local Vancouver police officer named uh, Sergeant Cookie Ryan, who was the starter for that race. And he kept the bullet shell. He had it engraved with the date and, and uh, the time. And, and it actually says the Miracle Mile race on it. And he gave that to his son, Michael Ryan. And, uh, and Michael brought it to us. So that's on display as well. So uh, basically, we tried to, tried to give a, a, a taste of each gallery um, by, by talking about one artifact per, uh, per gallery little virtual tour. I mean when you open do you think you would be still doing these virtual tours or? Yeah it, it could be something that we do um, going forward. Um, it, 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 we've had great feedback to them um, and they're, they're fairly easy to do um, especially you know everybody has a smartphone now so that, we just filmed them on our own smartphones so um, so it was it was quite easy that way so I think it is something that we could do um, going forward you know even just to you know, give people a, a, a sense of a new gallery or a new exhibit or a display that, that we've, we've created and opened. And if, you know, people would like to help donate, um, can, can they do that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's, a, there's a donation feature on the Hall of Fame website at, at bcsportshall.com. Um, we're a not-for-profit uh, charity, so we're, we're always looking for a little bit of assistance, especially at times like this, where we literally have no revenue coming in. Um, it's uh, it, it's been a really challenging time for well, for all museums and all sports halls across uh, North America and, and, and the world. Um, but uh, yeah, any 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 support or any assistance through donations is always appreciated. Even mm. more so now. And then to go to the virtual tours, they can go on Facebook or Twitter or social media. <laughs> yep, they're, they're on the whole social media platforms. Uh, 
Um, Facebook and Twitter for sure. They might be on Instagram. I don't do a lot on Instagram, so I, I'm, I haven't, haven't seen if they're on there, but they could be there too, but for sure, Facebook and Twitter. Yes. And your book is available again, where Amazon and it's, it's available on, on Amazon. Um, yes. should be on like chapters Indigo online. Yes. Um, Caitlin Press's website. Um, I believe it's on the hall of fame website as well. Um, it, basically if you just search the miracle mile, uh, Jason Beck, it, 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 it will come up, um, and yes. other copies out there. And when we do open, or should say you open, <laughs> I feel like I'm there because I'm filming. So. <laughs> <laughs> you're, and you're always at the hall. So it, it, it's, you know, <laughs> but if they can get an autographed copy. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, I, I always try to sign copies, um, um, for anyone that buys them at the hall. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add, Jason? Just that, um, we're, you know, we're going to get through this. Um, I, I found that my, when things start to get a little bit heavy, it, uh, I, at times like these, I, I've been lifted up by looking at stories of, um, looking back at stories and of our honored members of the great athletes of BC sport. There, there's so many inspiring stories and so many ways that they overcame challenges or, or uh, were resilient or, um, you know, uh, worked through things and um, you know it, it's a way to, you know, to to kind of give you a lift at a time like this when we're all kind of facing you know challenges and adversity so um, that I would just say if you're looking for a lift check out the Hall of Fame website with our, our biographies check out um, Facebook and 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 Twitter um, both the halls and my own my personal account I've been sending out um, birthday announcements for, for honor members, as well as uh, on this day in BC sport moments, uh, which people have really enjoyed. Some of those moments are often you know, forgotten. So, um, so I've gotten good response there, but uh, that for me has been the positive in all this is that there's been lots of talk about um, sport heritage and, and looking back at, at sport moments because there's nothing happening live, but uh, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, it's giving people a lift. Yes, and you know, you're not only a curator, you're a historian. So, yeah. <laughs> sports historian. So, and an author. So, thank you very much, Jason, for being on the Zoom interview. And I really appreciate your time and, and be healthy, keep healthy and safe. Thanks, Christine. Always a pleasure to, to, to speak with you um, in person and, and virtually here. And, and uh, yeah, take care and, and keep well. Yes, the same to you. Thank, thanks again, Jason. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Christine.